Good morning, you guys. I have Porter here hi. with me. Say hi, Porter. My big six month old, he is just reaching for everything. I'm sure if he could, he would try to reach for this camera right now. I have Grayson over here in the living room making a mess like he always does. Grayson, can you say hi? I wanted to show you guys. I've been looking at this for a long time to buy and it's really expensive, but Target just recently had 25% off one toy. So I was able to take that and then we also had a $50 gift card. And so it only, it came out to a lot less than what it was. But I have bought a wagon. So yeah, I bought the Radio Flyer um, convertible stroller wagon. So as you can see, it's got the wagon handle on one side, but then it also has like a stroller handle so you can push it on the other side so you're not just like pulling it the whole time. And I'm super excited about it. I really debated hard on what I wanted. You guys know I have the double stroller. We take that on walks around our neighborhood here, but I wanted something that I could put in the trunk of my car that would fit in my small Civic trunk and also something that I could put both boys in because Gray's just getting older, he's about to be three. He's almost too big for the double stroller now, so I wanted something that he could like use that we could use with him for a while. Obviously Porter would fit in anything because he's not even a year old yet. So I was looking around, looking around. Um, they do have umbrella double strollers. I did debate on getting that, but again, Grayson's getting a little too big for the stroller. And then I found wagons, and then I found stroller wagons, which is a stroller and a wagon combined. And so yeah, I went ahead and purchased it. Normally they're like $130, but with all the discounts and stuff, I only ended up paying like $70. Um, and Target had free shipping and stuff. I found it on Amazon, but Amazon didn't have like tw the 25% off coupon like Target did, so that's why I went with Target. So I'm really excited to like try it out. I hope I like it because it was expensive. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just show you guys. My dad actually built it for me, so we got it, and I was like, I'm gonna put it together. I'm gonna totally do this. And I like got through like the first two steps and I ended up putting one of the wheels on the wrong way. And it was when we're like, I hammered it on and so Anthony had to like work really hard to pry it back off. And so then I was like scared to touch it again because I didn't want to mess it up again. So I was gonna try again and then uh, my parents came over last night to babysit the kids so Anthony and I could go do our taxes and then have a date night. And we came back and my dad had already built the wagon, so <laughs> kind of worked out. Um, I told him he did not have to do it, but I think he liked having something to do. So I'm super excited. It folds down really small, so I'm excited to put that in my um, car now because originally I just had like an umbrella, like just single stroller, so which was fine like when Porter was little because I would just put him in the carrier or just carry him, but he's getting heavy now. He's almost 18 pounds, and so I'm not gonna be able to carry him forever. So that is why we are getting the wagon. Also, my dad is like super dad, and he not only built the wagon for us, but he also built Grayson's trike. So I'll open the garage and show you guys that finally built. If you guys remember in a previous vlog, Allison and I attempted to build the trike and we couldn't even get past the first step. <laughs> so um, apparently it was no um, match for my dad. My dad did just fine, so I'll show you guys. So here is the trike. It looks so good. I don't even think your Grayson has tried it out yet. It's supposed to get warm today and be sunny, so maybe I'll have him um, try it out. I don't know if he's tall enough for it or knows how to work it, so it might take him a while. My dilemma now with all of these things that we're getting is where are we gonna store all this stuff? Um, like, we don't have a, a shed. I really wish we did, and honestly, if we were staying, here and not like planning on moving I would buy a shed to put in our backyard but they're expensive um, and then obviously you'd really don't take it with you like when you leave so 
we probably won't do that but i'm like where are we gonna store all this stuff like right now our double stroller is in our dining room <laughs> like i'll show you guys and the wagon the stroller wagon is in the playroom <laughs> So like here's our dining room table and then there's the double wagon like in the winter it was fine because we just stored the double wagon There's the double stroller in the basement But now that it's warm and we use it more often like we don't want to keep hauling it up and down the stairs in the basement So I'm not sure what we're gonna do with all this stuff. I'm almost wondering if maybe we just use one side of the garage as storage for everything and maybe we just park my car outside instead of parking in the garage every night my car has a remote control car starter so um <clears throat> it wouldn't matter if it's like super hot or super cold outside because i could just start the car up like 10 minutes before we get in and then it would be fine I don't know, I'm gonna have to talk to Anthony about that. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what to do with everything. I guess we could like, every time we're not using something, just like fold it down and then try to store it. I'm not sure what to do. Do you see all the eggs? They're at an Easter egg hunt. And Dave's gonna get all the eggs and put them in his basket. Yeah, are you so excited? Not yet, not yet. You have to wait. <laughs> There's daddy. <laughs> Are you so excited? Put it in your basket. Okay, go get more. Get a green one, go ahead. Put it in here, put it in your basket. Yeah, put it in your Easter basket. You put it in? Okay, put it in your basket. Yellow. Put it in. Put it in here. Put it in. Okay, go get more. Go get another egg. Okay, go get more eggs. Okay, you gotta unwrap it. No. Keep going. Can you get more? Good job! Yay, Grayson! Go get more! <laughs> there you go! Yay, Gray! So we are <laughs> having bath time now. I've got both boys in the bathtub. We had so much fun at the little Easter egg hunt. So our neighborhood did a little Easter egg hunt in our little neighborhood park. And it was really cute. They had it set up by age. They had like three and under and then four and five and then so on and so on. And they had little sections. They had tons of eggs and so they just like blew a horn and then everybody went and tried to get as many eggs as they could. And Gray didn't really understand what was going on. It was his first Easter egg hunt. I had to show him what to do. And then like he picked, he would pick up an egg and then he just wanted to open it. And then of course there was candy inside and then he just wanted to like eat the candy. He didn't want to like get more eggs. So the whole time I'm like, put, just put it in your bag. We'll eat it later. Go get more eggs. And he's like, open it, open it. So that was funny. But yeah, he got a couple eggs. It was fun. They also had somebody dress up as the Easter Bunny. And so Gray went to him and I had to hold him the whole time. He was a little apprehensive about the Easter Bunny. Um, and so I just held him and we waved and I had him give him a high five and Gray thought that was so fun. So he loved the Easter Bunny. Anthony was home this weekend, surprisingly. His schedule changed. And so thankfully he was able to come with me and he just stuck with Porter the whole time. Um, Porter just chilled out, although somebody came over to the stroller, Anthony told me, and just like said hi to Porter and said he was so cute. But Porter has such stranger danger right now that like he got one look at the lady and he just started bawling. <laughs> and the lady like ran away, so. Anyway, it was really fun. And then after that we went to the park. Um, I think I got some Snapchat videos of that, so I'll put those here. Good singing. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> There's a school in our neighborhood and so um, they are updating the park equipment in the park so we went to the playground equipment in the school and played on those for a little bit and that was really fun too. So we all had a really great day. It's just really fun to get a little bit of normalcy um, with Easter and a little Easter egg hunt. It was free, so it was super nice um, that the neighborhood put that on for us so we could just go. And it was a beautiful day today, like 65 and sunny, so it was just perfect. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about that event. It was super fun. What is that, Gray? What is that? Baby. Is that Baby Shark? What does Baby Shark say? <laughs> what are you doing, Porter? He loves chewing on all the foam letters. Daddy. Oh, is that Daddy Shark? <laughs> so much fun.